Hello, this is Compound Interest Stock Guy, and today I'm just going to be talking about the markets and uh, then a future rate cut tomorrow and cannabis and a bit about commodities. So stay tuned. Uh, appreciate all my viewers and subscribers for uh, following me along on my journey now that I'm away from home. I appreciate it. I um, just have to find new places to park. Kind of, uh, I mean, I'm staying in an Airbnb. I guess I could make a video in my room, but I just don't feel like it. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell down below so you're notified when I upload a video. Uh, give me thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I also want to disclose I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment information purposes. Do not buy or sell based on anything I talk about in this video. Buy or sell after you did your research or you did due diligence and you like the investment you're pursuing. So uh, yeah, um, in my last videos, I'm, I'm wearing the same shirt I was, I was wearing before. I don't wear the same shirts every day just to let you guys know. I just like that shirt. So I put on a new shirt today. Uh, I don't have a thousand shirts. I'm just kind of cheap and I don't buy everything. But but yeah, no, I got some clothes. <laughs> I don't wear the same shirts every day. Um, so oh yeah, let's get into this. So gold price is kind of starting to go up and uh, platinum's really been on a tear. It's going up, heading up to 900. I hope it goes to 1,000, 1,100, 1,200. I'd like to see it. I have a stock in there. And also GGI, has, uh, will, um, they get small samples of uh, platinum and palladium in their drill core results. So yeah, that's good. And crude, crude looks like it's going to go up now and natural gas because with just with that rate cuts. And what it is is basically the U.S. dollar gets goes down, commodity is going to go up because... It's all based on the U.S. dollar. So it's, you know, if your dollar's not worth as much, say like from like a year ago, say if you had a dollar and it's worth half as much, well, then you would think that goods are going to be, uh, they're going to cost twice as much. So just to make the equivalence. So yeah, I'm out at this uh, BC. I, I think it's a good background in my car. You know, I got the trees, got, got a good lighting. But uh, yeah, so uh, with uh, Tilt, okay, so Tilt, they did some like refiling statements and that's, uh, uh, I don't know, it had a good day today. It hit like 89 cents Canadian and about like 66 cents USD and uh, yeah, I think I think it's going to be on a tear. Just It looks like a double bottom, like it went lower this time than the last time it went the bottom, but I think if some big buying comes in, it's gonna rush above a dollar. And, you know, they're gonna be reporting in the end of uh, uh, August. So, what I'd like to see them, you know, have a great quarter, and I do believe they will. Uh, there's uh, reports out that they're supposed to write, make around like 45 to 50 million, I think, um, for the next quarter reporting. And then after that, it's like somewhere like 65. And then their Q4, I believe, is like 80 or 90. So I think they should be around like two, 250 million for 2019. Um, maybe that's high. Maybe only like 230. But I mean, that's a pretty good chunk of change for a company that's under a dollar. <laughs> so I don't know. I think you should look into them. I have a video on them. I bought them. I bought them in the threes but I've lowered my average so I'm in the low ones so because I've been buying as uh, especially in like the low ones and uh, I bought 2,000 out at like 76 cents so um, my average is, is I'm fine with that you know I mean sure it'd be great if my average was like 75 cents but you know with every stock you own you can't always get the bottoms um, that's just a that's just a fact of life I mean especially in this volatile sector I do think it's a big it's a big acquisition target for some of the bigger LPs in, in USA. I think so because you know you got that rev revenue. And if you look at the financials, it's also saying that uh, like they, they lost 68 million, I think. But 60 million or 70, 70 um, yeah, something like that. They lost so it was like 60 million in stock compensation. So that's for their acquisitions 
you you can't get acquisitions for free. So I mean, that's just the reality with things. I mean, you they're paying for their growth, and that's reported because their previous quarter was like five million, and now they have to uh, report this. So, and then I was like talking on Twitter. There's some guys like, oh, that's reporting about the pro forma. Well, I don't think that's bad to rate pro forma. I mean, Cureleaf does it, MedMen does it, Yanthus does it. I mean it's going to be in their growth, you know, in the future when they own all these companies. So I think, I think next quarter there won't really be much pro forma. Um, but yeah, and, uh, Cineva kind of coming up. Uh, I like that. I'm, I'm hoping that they close that, uh, deal with the company buying their Canadian assets. I'd really like to see them go towards like four or $5. My average is just a bit above $5. So just to let you know, like, if you're buying it now, like you're buying it at the best times in the last like year and a bit. So, uh, yeah, so uh, Toure is kind of going with like $40. Canopies, like I'm looking to get some call options for Dece December, January for Toure and Canopy. I have some, for, I have two call options for $60 on Toure for uh, 18th of September. So, I like to secure a couple more before Tilray goes up. Tilray's reporting mid August, and uh, yeah, so a lot of companies are reporting at end of August as well. Uh, I just heard that uh, uh, reading uh, International Cannabis that the guy was on uh, like this proactive investors, and he's saying that in in uh, New York, they're decriminalizing uh, cannabis on August 27th. So New York's a huge, huge money like capital place. So you gotta think that's gonna be a catalyst for the markets, and that's probably why they're they're all reporting at the end of uh, end of August because it's just gonna be bump. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to you know cannabis boom, cannabis boom go up. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I want to talk about as far as cannabis. I mean, I, I, cannabis companies. I, I don't I want to, Fire and Flowers talking about their their um, you know, their future with a Kush Tard and uh, a lot of money. They're gonna grow into a, a global player as far as retail, and uh, yeah. Oh oh, what, who else? Uh, t -t -t Aritzia. T -t -t oh, Chum Chum Chum's a company that has a new uh, new president, I believe, from like. Aritzia and all the stuff to, to lead their, their retail expansion. So I do own a thousand shares of, of Choom and um, I think if they get that ball rolling in USA, they're going to be a dynamic player in the future. I mean, they ha they're going to have some ups and downs just because they have like 200 million shares out but and they're not making any revenues. But I think in like the next three years, I think Choom's going to be a big player because it's a good brand i think so you know if you if you read the the history on choom i think it's going to be a big um they're just focusing on retail strategy so i mean i think they could compete with with medman if they have enough capital backing them and uh you know that's kind of based on aurora aurora owns 20 percent, i think now with like the pp yep so my friend he's in he's uh like uh he works for this construction company in the same industry that I have a trade in, a Red Seal trade in, and he's like talking about because there's this plastic facility being built in northern BC, and it's gonna start in 2021, and then 23, 2023 will be complete. So he's talking about like uh, renting out his room and like for like 900 bucks a month, and I don't know, like I think as far as it goes, like I think that might be an option for me to to buy a house out here. Like I like. I like in, in Vancouver Island as well, but I mean, I, I gotta maybe both. I don't know. I it's it's uh, ideas, right? You know, until they happen. But I mean, I'm I like investing in anything that I can get good good appreciation. And the good thing about like doing real estate, like flipping and stuff like that, is you really you own it. Like you don't have management to to fall back on, which is like. I mean, you can't blame management. It's all going to be on you. But, I mean, you also, like, they're not, they're, I'm not going to be taking any, like, 
you know, like, oh, they, they, a 0.01 cents, all these like shares get issued. And then I'm just like selling out to the market. And then that puts a drain on the company. So that's why it's better to, to invest yourself. Like if you have enough capital, like that's why you start your own business. And I think that's a good idea for myself to, to like do, to manage my own money outside of like investments as well in the future, not as much into equity. I was, it was kind of funny, like, uh, financial education is like saying he's like oh well, all these financial all these financial uh, investors like and uh, you know all these guys like they don't even have much money in the market like that's no good like they don't believe in the market it's like no it's like if you see investment that you can make a good ROI return on investment why does it matter if it's in the if it's in the stock market or if it's not in the stock market you know it's all the same if you can get a good return on an investment you know <laughs> like you can't just be like stubborn and be like oh well i made all my money on stocks so i'm better than you it just means that you just are focused on stocks like if i can if i sold out all my profits come like november and then i bought a house and i was able to sell it and get a hundred thousand dollars and i wasn't able to and then at the same time all those stocks got killed in the in the like the last year well who's smart who's not right so i don't know i just want to vent on that because i think financial education is kind of like being a piece of shit as far as like on on like you know it's like more my way or the highway you know there's a million ways to make money in this world. You, you you don't need to be so like, oh, this is the only way. So anyways, shaka and capice and compound that info. Listen to my lingo. And yeah, until next time, capice. Thanks for watching.